This video is brought to you by DC Sports 87 Sports Cards and Consignment. The easiest way to sell your cards hassle-free on eBay. With an easy-to-use website, payouts every day, and a customer service-oriented team, it's a simple process to get your cards sold on eBay. Write your name and email on a sheet of paper and just ship it. If you send less than 20 cards, it goes up in less than two days. Sign up today with link in description to get started. Yo, what's up, guys? We are in New York this weekend. Going to the Hofstra show. You already know what time it is. We are here to get the deals. We're buying, selling, and trading all weekend long. I'm mostly going to be buying basketball. I have a lot of basketball that I'm going to try to sell as well. As the season comes by, now's the time you know to sell the cards. Make, take your profits because guess what? You never go broke taking a profit. So I'm going to take some profits this weekend, buy some new cards. Next week, we're going to Vegas. The week after, we're going to Dallas. we got a full schedule for October. I'm expecting this Hofstra show to be good. I will say I've heard both sides. I heard it's not good, and I heard it is good. And anytime you hear that, you just got to go and find out. You know, at the end of the day, you can't take the left side saying it's not good. The right side taking it is good. It doesn't matter what they say, right? Some people are going to say a show's good. Some people we're gonna say a show is not good. It's all about you going and experiencing for yourself. Cause what's bad for one person can be great for another. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Another man's bad show is another man's best show. That's just how the game works. So always go find out for yourself. I'm buying heavy all weekend. Let's get these deals, baby. Roth cards and sports card taxi. Let's get it. All right, what's up guys? Before we start, we're also gonna do a giveaway right now for $50. Cash app, PayPal, Venmo. I'll tie it to a pigeon's foot and fly it to you. It doesn't matter. I'll give you $50. The pigeons up there, somewhere up there. Anyway, $50 right now. All you gotta do is this. Comment below, who is your NBA breakout player of the year? One, you gotta like this video to enter. You gotta comment who you got and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All right, guys, we are here in the big city. Everyone always dreams about, talks about. This is the mall, but we're in New York. We're here this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're gonna make these deals happen. A good car just happening. I heard it was a banger last time. It's about to be a banger again, because you know, we are in the building. And every time we're in the building, we get stuff done. I will deals text happen. your cards, huh? Deals happen when deals we're in the building. Deals happen in the building, and there's just a spirit goes up. So yeah. Uh, what are you buying? We are buying, so this, so this weekend, I'm trying to pick up the sleepers. Sleepers. So I heard Sekou's on the Lakers now. Jordan Poole's balling out. Lonzo Ball, I think, is gonna have a crazy year. I was watching some of his videos and some of his highlights of last year, and I think this year is gonna be crazy. So this weekend, we're gonna try to pick up Lonzo Ball, Jordan Poole, and Sekou, and then Boya. The low, because it's cheap. It's so cheap. You hold it, he plays one good game, price is double, triple the next day, then you just sell on eBay, you sell on Facebook, you sell on Instagram, on whatever. My slabs. Maybe you'll sell my app soon. I mean, I don't oh, know yeah, yet. app coming out? We, yeah, we got we have an app coming out. I will be posting something sometime next week about the app. If you want to guys see it, it's gonna revolutionize the card game. It's gonna change the name of the game. It's gonna help you do deals a lot better and faster at the card shows. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Boom, what is up y'all? We are in Long Island. We about to go get these deals right now. It's 8 a.m. The show starts very soon. So you know what that means? It's game time. Let's go get these deals. We buying basketball. We selling basketball. We selling football. We buying football. We, look, we buying and selling trade and everything all weekend. A couple guys I'm looking for today. Tatum, Fox, KPJ, Luca, Trey, LeBron, you know, and that catches my eye. That's what I'm going for. Golds, prism colors, anything that SSP, super short print, you know, like that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, you know, the base stuff is cool, but when you get into the rare stuff, you just see more of a jump in value as prices start to trend up. So my man right here feeling a little, uh, you a little sleep in there, buddy. No, I'm away. But yeah, we getting these deals. We're gonna get us some coffee. I just had my coffee from the lobby and it was not on Wawa's level. But it's all right. We head into the show. Stay tuned. We got a lot in store. A lot of content coming today. We buying and selling a lot. Let's get it. In the Uber. In the Uber. Hofstra University. <laughs> So we just got to the show. We're doing a couple walk arounds right now. So I found a guy, right? So he has eight LeBron James Fleer Traditions, all Ross, like the one I picked up in Clearwater. He's charging a little over comps, right? But you get in, and I, I, you know, he had like 10 of them. And I picked out eight that were really clean. So I'm thinking, okay, he's at 2,400, which is 300 each. They're comping at 200 each. But it's like, it's okay to pay over comps if you're getting clean raw. Cause at the end of the day, a 10 in that card is doing like 1,200, like 1,000 to 1,200 right now. So if I can get, if I can come back with a 50% gem rate, right? So half of those so i get four tens out of the eight that right there I, you make a profit just on the four tens and everything else is profit so like you, i can make two three thousand just off that deal alone but i have to start by paying over comp it's kind of hard to pay over comp for a card i told him you know let me think about it but that's something to always remember you might have to pay over comp for a raw card but in the back end you make the money so 
stay tuned. We'll go check them out again, kind of think about it, and uh, we might have to get these LeBrons. Let's get it. All right, I'm thinking hard about these LeBrons right now. Once three, if I can get them down maybe to 240 plus grading fees, I'll probably be in it like 400 a car. PSA 9 is doing like 400 right now. So out of the eight, if I can get, I would need like a three or four tens. I mean, they look clean. Um, it's definitely a risky play because if they all come back nine, you know, you break even. But I'm also thinking, okay, nines at one point were at nine, 800 to 900 dollars. So right now they're at 400. You know, in a month, are they back to eight, nine? Then you make money regardless. So right now could be a time to capitalize on the low market of LeBron. I don't know. I'm still, I'm thinking. I have that feeling like it could be a good play, but I don't want to like jump it because I really want to deal early. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to take it easy, see what I feel like, and let's get it. All right, me and Jacob just did something. We bought something. We did something crazy that we've never done before. This is one of my first hockey cards. We got two big ones of McKinnon. McKinnon, baby. Oh my goodness. Stay tuned. Mark, we just we just paid. I did not come here to buy hockey. Did you? No. <laughs> but we went half. End of the day, take care of the people. We got these two right here. Two Prism Gold McKinnons. Sheesh. Stay tuned and we're gonna show y'all. All right, what's up guys? So we had to come outside. I had to catch a breath because that was a crazy deal. We just picked up two gold Nathan McKinnon Prism cards. So I posted these on Instagram. I was like, who knows hockey? Cause I just wanted to kind of get some insight on hockey. Cause I've never bought a hockey card ever. And the first two I, we buy, me and Jacob went half on these. First two we buy is like, is these? Oh goodness. So they made two years of Prism hockey. This is his rookie card. They didn't, he didn't have a rookie card in the other Prism. He wasn't in the first year of Prism hockey. So he's only in the second one. We got his gold. There's only 20 of them. Cause there's 10 and 10. So we got two of 20 of his Prism gold. True gem plus. So these were two big purchases. I'm happy to own these. I'm about to post them on Instagram right now and we're gonna get Instagram booming. As soon as I posted it, who knows hockey? I got like 20 DMs in five minutes. That's how I knew I had to grab these. So sheesh, let's get it. All right, what just went down? All right, what's up guys? So we are outside the card show right now. We were taking pictures of these two cards right here, the, the McKinnons. And then I saw I saw a good friend that I'd done deals with in the past at the national show. And we just picked up the Luca Pink Ice. Nice. Sheesh. We picked up the Cone Sexton Gold. Nice. We picked up the Trey Young True, True Blue. Blue. Kind of turn it a little bit. There you go. Sheesh. And then we just picked up our last one of the day. We just picked up the Ja Morant Auto Optic Auto. Nice. So those are our pickups with my man right here, Eric. Yeah, I'm, then, I'm a nice guy. I gave them, <laughs> them all very cheap. He's a great guy. I, I'm a good friend. He gave me some cards as well. All right, what'd you um, get? Like, this is my probably my favorite one I picked up. My first F1 card. First Lewis F1, Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. I'll probably try to grade it. Probably will nine, maybe 10. Hopefully I'll be able to make some money. But yeah, it was a good deal for uh, for both of us. And one more. I do have quickly. He gave me. So this we is a trade. This is, I traded for this quickly. A couple of those cards, like, or the trade blue. And he gave me $500 cash quickly nice i picked it up because i'm a big knicks fan really no rhyme or reason um i'm just hoping he plays well please, i think he will please play well <laughs> that's a big card i have him play as well let's get it huge ceiling low risk good, good deals here in new york yes sir appreciate, appreciate it sir. boss all right, what's up, guys? We're here, my man, Eric. We also made a deal. We outside the card show, like he said, we take pictures of some cards, and he walked up. We said, what you got? So I picked up the nice Shea Contenders Auto, and we got a Tatum Gold Select. I'm super hyped on the gold. We did a big trade. He picked up. Show him what you got. So he gave me this Winston Treasures. The goat. Nice Winston. <laughs> I don't know about the GOAT. <laughs> uh, Hamadou Diallo PSA 10 nice. gold fresh off the line, and a Kaboom Mitchell. Kaboom Mitchell. <laughs> nice little trade. I had a little bit of cash. Good deal? Yep, good Let's deal. Let's get it. We out here in New York. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, we're here, my man. What's your name? Justin. Justin. We're here with Justin. Now, Justin, what are you looking to buy today? Um, any like Dolphins or Miami Heat cards. Okay. And how long have you been in the hobby? Two years. Two years. Okay, that's good. And so, how old are you? I'm ten. So he's ten years old. For all the ten year olds out there, what what would you give him for advice? How can they get in this hobby and do what you do? Just make smart decisions. Look on eBay. Okay, that's what you shop mostly. Yeah. And then where do you mostly sell? eBay. eBay. So you buy and sell on eBay. You make yeah. money. Go on Instagram too. You make a good money more than all your friends in school. That's how you got to do it. Ain't that right? Let's yep. get it. Let's get it. All right. So, like you know, me and Taxi are at the New York show, New York. and we realized we should get a table. So we walked around. We found an empty table. Then we walked around and we found somebody who had an extra showcase. And then we put it together, and now we have a table, and we are set up at the Hofstra. I'll show you guys right now. This this table has so much heat. It is crazy. Stay tuned. Look at this. In the show to now set up and we already had like three people walk up we just set up one minute to go so stay tuned we got a lot of deals we buy heavy let's get it all right we're here at the new york hoster show and beckett is in the building so as y'all saw before we we're gonna drop these three off to beckett right now it should get him back within a month and uh here we go heading to beckett 
All right, so we got the Beckett form. We're gonna do Express. It's 150 a card. We got the three cards. All we gotta do is just fill out the form, give it right back to them. We're gonna. They said four to six weeks for Express. So 150 a card, and we get the cards back in about a month, and uh, they'll ship them right back. And we get these nine fives or BGS tens or even black labels, black label Kobe. Stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, so we just finished filling out the Beckett form. It's gonna cost five hundred dollars to grade all three cards. It comes out to about 165 a card. Not bad at all. We'll get them back within a month. So y'all stay tuned. As you can see, we got the Fleer Showcase finest refractor and the skybox let's say 9.5 bgs 10 and a bgs 9 sounds like a plan to me let's get it here we go back to back to drop them off so what are we doing right now Ralph? all right we just sold the mahomes 9 and the lamello 9 they both were supposed to be 10s from psa but sometimes you don't get always what you want we cashing out to my man he came all the way from florida he looking good <laughs> we out here grinding and uh we sold both 2k give good deals people they keep coming back. Good deals only. For Good deals only, man. We out here getting it. We get the New York show. It's about 3 o'clock. They got coffee. It ain't Wawa, but it's all right. It, it works for now. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, what's up? We here at David Buster's tonight. We're going to do a little competition. Who's got a basketball player? It's me. I'm going to let y'all know right now. I'm about Definitely to not. Definitely. I'll let my skill talk. Here we go. All right, now we're playing round one. Now I get Buster. Boom! 27, baby. 27. So now. That's how we do it. Rock cards in the building. No look. Alright, round one. Alright, now let me show them how you get 50. Round one, you gotta be 27. Brick. Okay, uh oh. Oh yeah, Roth cards taking round one there, buddy. I had no balls that whole time. I only had like three balls. Uh, 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 Roth cards is a better shooter. Off to the next sport. Yeah, Here we go. No, we do one more time. Round two. We got throw the ball at the clowns. Yep, all right. So as you guys know, I used to be a baseball player. All right, we don't want to hear your little sob story. Let's go. All right, let's see what happens. Whoa. Burn. Oh, that's your score, 190. All right, I can beat that. Stay yeah. tuned. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, time to show them how it's done. Oh. You didn't get any more points. How many points did you get that one? All right, all right. well, I thought we were going by the total, but we were going by points. So, Jackson beat you. It's one to one. I got basketball. He got whatever this game is called. Off to the next game. Let's get it. All right, now we're gonna do virtual bowling. He said he like a professional bowler, but I don't know about that. We'll find out. What the? Oh, eight pins. What? Sorry there, buddy. That usually always gets it. In one pin. One hundred twenty-three. I'm definitely beating that. Stay tuned. Let's get it. He thinks he'll beat me in my own game. You know that I'm a professional bowler too. <laughs> And you left the 10 pin. There we go, we're good. Oh, left the... No. 119, we won. The game glitched. I want a refund. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the front office. All right, now we're at the game. Gold edition. This game is all about soft touch. Oh, there's one. You made one? I made one. Count the score right here. You gotta beat that. One ball in, I'll take it. He's still on three digits. No, sir. This man missed. This man missed. Oh my gosh. Last one. It. Yo, he's beating me. Okay, that's fine. Dang, what'd I say? Those were easy numbers, and when you challenge me at games, it's just a bad idea. I take home the dub every time. I'm leaving. All right, now we're at the next game. Ski ball. So actually, I'm all over the place. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, yeah, you've been practicing real good there, buddy. Oh, is that it? And that is it. Final score is 180. 20 is not bad. I was a little greedy going for the 100, but sometimes you gotta go the big play, right? You never go broke taking a profit. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, so Jacob got 180. No talk in this game. I'm just gonna play. Oh, okay. No, he won. So we won that game because we don't talk anymore. I'm just gonna let my actions speak. I'm gonna come back straight now. All right, next game. Hyper pitch. How fast can you throw? And it gives you points based on it. Here we go. Yep, Jacob okay. is first. 73. That's why I went slower. Is that it? All right, what's your total score? 1965. Yeah. Peace up. I'm about to hit 80 next one. Here we go. He took his hoodie off for this. I just rolled my sleeve. <laughs> 64. 72. What'd you get? I got 1900. But I threw harder. Three harder. to three. Oh, hey, baby. Harder don't matter. Accuracy matters. All right, so as y'all saw, he got three points. I got three runs. I let him win a couple games. 
felt bad for him. We're going to finish the final round tomorrow at the card show. Maybe we'll do a pack battle or we'll do some sort of thing that involves cards for the championship. But we all know who the real winner is. Your boy, Rock Cards. But look, that's how we do it. We don't only do car vlogs, we do lifestyle vlogs. We and Dave and Buster's right now in Long Island. Um, so tomorrow we'll be at the show. We're gonna make a lot more content tomorrow. Today we focus focused on the deals. And not that much activity in the Not room. that much activity, but we did a lot. It just wasn't that much activity though. You know what I mean? Like we got the gold, picked up the, a couple other cards. So tomorrow is content. Maybe do some pack battles, try to buy heavy, sell some stuff. So stay tuned. We got a lot in store and a lot to come. Remember, what people don't do in the room, you are buying and buying, are selling instead of buying, you become the buyer for the next show to sell out. Yup. That's how you do it. We out here. Let's get it. Stay tuned. Catch y'all tomorrow.